Hello everybody, Lego here, and I want to show you guys something I've been working on. It's uh, kind of like a platformer, if I hit F1, uh, in Minecraft. And I've, I might be making a map on this, I'll see how it goes. Sometimes I ran out of time and kind of... We're gonna have inspiration on stuff like this, but uh, as you can see, when I'm I'm hitting left and right, and it's moving my character, and I can't look in a certain direction, it this allows me from doing so. And so, if I actually hold my bow, it I shoot an arrow. Now I turned off. Uh, I or I hit on F1 because it's you know it's better to see but it shouldn't matter too much. So those guys down there and I might work on a directional thing I might not. It's kind of hard to do. Uh, you have to time it just right so that he doesn't damage you. Uh, that didn't reset for some reason actually. I'm gonna quickly reset the level. So I if I do make this a map, uh, I'll make it so that you have infinite lives. It'll just be difficult. So, no, I didn't. So, right here, I, I'm stuck. I won't be able to move. Until, and since it's cracked, I can actually mine it. And it makes a sound. And uh, this village scene is probably one of my favorite parts of the map. So there's like a, a priest looking up and these villagers trading stuff and this blacksmith looking at an anvil. And then in here we've got these miners that are mining. But uh, this animation, I really enjoy the way it looks. I mean, it looks very pleasing. So there's a creeper up there, and another guy up there, and if I wait for them to come to me, I'll show you a feature that I added to the creeper. So if you get within so many blocks of the creeper, it actually activates, and uh, it instantly kills you. So it's kind of difficult if you're not careful. So uh, here we've got kind of a thick group of uh, blocks and I think there's supposed to be a mob over here somewhere but I don't know where it's at uh, it might have not spawned sometimes stuff doesn't work very well this is 1.9 so uh, this is the second part of the level I'm not done with this okay so Oh, I'm not in game mode one. Whoops. Uh, and since the armor stand dies, you instantly... You instantly die. So, if the creeper actually exploded, it would explode the armor stand. So that's what you're looking at the entire game, by the way. And... That's what would happen. Now this is a pretty big map actually, but I wanted to make it so that you really didn't need that big of an armor stand, or er, not armor stand, big of a uh, render distance to actually play it. Uh, this uses barriers a lot, and they don't lag, I don't, whoops, they don't lag very much at all. Um, so if I, zero, ten, zero, here's the spawn chunks. And I th might have shown this. The second you step on this, it will teleport you in into there. And it does that by, uh, it detects if there's sponge below you at minus four, then melons under you at minus three, and then hay under you at minus two. And if, it, if this is true, then this is true, then this is true, it will teleport you there. So it actually, it works pretty well. Now this, I think, 
Yeah, this is what makes you teleport if your tag is in game, and that's the tag that you have when you start the game. Uh, some fancy stuff. And this is what kills the arrow if it gets uh, stuck in ground. And so, what I have, what I use to uh, make the animation of the armor stance swing is uh, first I added a scoreboard objective, and it's being constantly. Or no, this is a tag, so the tag is constantly being removed. Now, and then it tests for if your selected slot is one, which would be the wooden sword, then it sets, it adds the tag swing. And I d believe it does this. No. And uh, later in game, if you are holding an iron iron sword, it will give the armor stand an iron sword. And it does the same with uh, pickaxe, iron, and wooden. Now, if I go over here, yeah, here's the wooden stuff. And I use a lot of tags. Tags are pretty nice because you don't have to set up an entire scoreboard objective, and it sometimes ta or scoreboard objectives lag a bit because it's extra data that the game needs to pull in. Uh, this is what summons the arrow, and there's sounds. But this command chain is just for uh, the animation. So it constantly adds swing one, and then if it's between zero and two, it sets it, and then three and four, and so on, until I believe it stops at 27 or 27. Or maybe not. Oh yeah, it goes. It starts up going really fast. Or er, when you pull up the sword, it's half as fast as when you swing down. So it gives it pretty smooth animation. And if I look in here, uh, yeah, this is what sets the pose and everything. And now if this is it sets any scoreboard, uh, any armor stand with the score swing that's 28 or more it sets the swing back to zero so it just constantly loops the <coughs> the animation and the animation works really well uh, this this is for the armor stand so first it teleports the entity to the or the armor stand to the player and then in the same tick it teleports the armor stand 13 blocks away from the player and it sets the uh, direction it's facing to 90 which I believe is yeah it's this way which would be uh, west now if I do I have this still uh, let's do let's just summon a creeper so this creeper is gonna be smart and it won't glitch through the block this isn't the actual creeper AI this is the a AI I added to the game, which is what your the mobs that your armor stand will fight, and this this tags all the play the entities within a radius of the uh, armor stand. So I don't need, I can just summon normal creepers, and if the armor stand gets close enough to the creeper, it will automatically give it the tag that it needs. And so, like, I don't want the mobs to be moving at the very beginning of the game, only when you get load that part in. So that's why I did that. And it works for skeletons, etc. Uh, this is, that sets the creeper fuse. And you may notice that when I'm holding these items, I'm holding them in F5, but I you can't see them in first person. And it's a trick that I... Like, see, when I hold it now, you can see it. But if I go ahead and I believe it's, yeah, if I, I'll put it on a hotbar, you can see it's constantly empty as opposed to this one, which recharges. So since it's constantly empty, it will never recharge. And so then the, 
uh, it will never come into your picture. And that's just a little detail that I thought would be pretty interesting. Uh, so this teleports any entity. Here, let's go back to the first one. So this constantly removes it. And if it's if it detects a block that's in front of it, so like if I put that there, it's not air. So it detects air blocks. And if it's not air, then it turns around it. It uh, becomes a negative value. And so that's pretty much all I have for this map. You may never see this map being released. It's kind of just me playing with ideas. And it's really, like, really cool ideas, but... Um, yeah, that's it's it's pretty cool stuff. And see, I'll never actually damage. Uh, that's the only glitch with the game. Sometimes the mob doesn't do that. Uh, but it shouldn't really be glitched into the block if there's... Yeah. You can still shoot the bow, actually, and if you have arrows. And it looks kind of weird. But I think that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you haven't seen it, my uh, gravity map, which is a 1.9 map, has been released on Planet Minecraft. So if you search Lego Bro, I'm, it might be Lego underscore one two three four five six still. But uh, if you search it on Planet Minecraft, you should see my gravity map. And it's a uh, 16. W03A, which is what I'm running on here. And it's, if you want to play it, you can. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys all later.